Let us get hold of him and forcefully put food in his mouth and the food goes into his stomach and then according to the consensus of the scholars his uh, fast will remain it will not be broken then something very important fasting was known to be an act of self torture it was known to be a sign of sorrowness particularly among the jews because jews was a defeated nation they were a cursed nation for a very very long period and they still now a cursed nation they were defeated they were killed they were thrown away then kicked away from this place and that place and this is how same chewings have passed on the jews so this fasting was a sign of sorrow islam doesn't allow that we fast and we feel pleased the prophet says that the believer is really pleased when he breaks his fast and the second pleasure he will feel when he will meet his lord so fasting and breaking fast is an act which gives us pleasure we do not feel sorrow and this is what was prohibited by jesus also as i uh, read in the beginning in the bible in the new testament we see jesus christ stopping his uh, uh, followers to fast in a way which uh, was uh, showing sorrow he says that don't fast like that try to be look try to look natural and so uh, we find here in the uh, here it's in the matthew chapter 6 we see he says when you fast you are not to look glum as the pockets do they change the appearance of their faces so that others may see their fasting i assure you they are already repaid when you fast see to it that you groom your hair and wash your face in that way one can see you are fasting but your father who is hidden uh, in that way no one can see you are fasting but your father who is hidden and your father who sees what is hidden will repay you so islam makes fasting something natural a source of pleasure source of spiritual enhancement it's not a source of sorrow when you look look glum or a sorrow striking cuz uh, in islam it's not self torture it is a way of self restraint and training of course thank you very much